And I think this is the worst kind of racism. Those who say directly or insidiously that everyone is uh, open to universal values except Muslims, because that's what it's all about. It's people saying that democracy is a very good thing, but only for the North. It's to consider that freedom of expression is an extraordinary thing, but it's only good for large European countries and for uh, Arab countries, for Africa and for other developing uh, regions of the world. It's no good. And this is this kind of way of thinking which leads to um, the beating of a young woman who's been holding hands with a young man or it leads to a situation where 12-year-old girls, as in Iran, are married off forcibly, as in Yemen as well, because it's divine law that ordains it. This is the shock of values with which we are confronted today. And the West, and I'm repeating this, because it's a very important thing, Western societies must be aware of what is at stake what is at stake, which is ideology, we spoke about legislation, we must speak about policies as well. Because even if there are laws, even if there is legislation which allows one to say things, because we're in a democracy, and when this kind of leaden um, blanket comes down of us, on us, and where people self-censor expression or do not allow others to um, use a right which they have by the, cons by the rights of the Constitution, then the things are, uh, situations get very difficult. And perhaps in 10 years from now, we shall meet again and we will have a situation which is far worse than it is today. Durban 1, Durban 2, and if there's going to be a Durban 3, some kind of folklore will start and it's going to open a new era, not a very nice one. So I can tell you there's an ideology which is... And I can tell you for 20 years now, I have been working on this subject. It's been 20 years since I started denouncing religious extremism in Islam. It's 20 years since I've been called an alarmist. Now, I will probably continue being that because all the alarm bells that I have been trying to ring, uh, I unfortunately was right to do that because things have proven to turn out the way I feared. Now, we're going to have a folklore if we continue like this and the situation that we're going to see will be absolutely farcical and in reality will speak of the, not just uh, the fact that we will no longer be able to criticise the ideological transformation of religion. And I'll finish now by saying this. You'll see the situation of the Western societies. Everyone's heard of um, the revisionist Bishop Williamson. Uh, and, of course, everyone was up in arms. But it should have been... In fact, uh, people should have heard the um, speech of a, an, an um, Islamic imam he said that the Jews were punished three times, first by the Babylonians, first then by the um, Romans, and the, he said that next time he hoped it would be the Muslims. And this was disseminated very widely on the internet, and a large part of the Islamic world heard, world heard this. If this is not fascism and incitement to hatred, I don't know what is. These words were published one week after the words of uh, Williamson. Everyone condemned Williamson, but on the other side, 
nobody said anything and nobody wanted to hear it, nobody wanted to say anything and nobody wanted to see it. This is an illustration what the, of what the Western societies and the Western uh, elites and the Western policies are in their fight or lack thereof against this poison that is threatening all of us. Thank you. <laughs>